On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and write. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Wednesday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So in the morning my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the end higher vlogger so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So watch this now my peeps, now the man in here we kick it off with the hot topic coming out of Pat Bush. Yeah man, that runs right behind the Mountain View Primary School over there along Mountain View Avenue. Now, the top knackis and clappies from Rona Backbush, known as Patty Head, but some may call him Dangles, is no longer among the land of the living. So just like in the movies, Top Shutters, where Dangles get the whole I'm side slap out, at the same thing reach the Jamaican version of Dangles. Now I've stated this. In many vlogs, one of the worst war you can ever fight is when your friend become your enemy. Now on your screen is a picture that was sent to on the spot news media some time ago about this criminal element. As you can clearly see that he was not loved by his own and it was just a matter of time before he would have met his demise. Now this criminal element here you now, him take a man life some time ago. For nothing at all, something pretty pretty simple. A few months ago as a matter of fact. And go dump the body somewhere along the Rockford era airport road stretch there so. A Rasta man will come round there Pan Calves Avenue, same place where him come from. Come link a girl. And I hope she'll listen to. Because you know where going. And I'll know you not step a foot forward and make the police them know, say, this criminal element here and him friend him. Take the man life. Now the man come round there, come link the girl and him and her jump off and them man are get involved. So this brother here, Dangles, send for a strap and slap with the man because the man run him away and make him know say yo, him no want a body get involved in a him and him woman argument not knowing say this brother here, Dangles, is a top knackis and clappis in the place. So Dangles felt disrespected in front of him like goons and also in front of the girl. So him just take it to heart and slap with the man. Just like that. Now we all know say karma is a hell of a thing, you know. And once you take the life of the innocent, your day of judgment will most definitely come. And yesterday, was the day for him because not the fact that him take that man life him take many other lives and lives of so-called friends around him and 
the regular ones and ones them round him never feel so pleased about it but some of them dare not say a word them just act in silence until them catch him off guard and slap him with yesterday now is a man we love hot grabber as them call it and it's just the fact that he needed some hot grabber to put in him weed make him stray go a rock foot and go lose him three pints so when him get slapped away you know, everybody did think of the actual Dan for backbush a youth named Ryan but Ryan even though he's a bad boy still is not a idiot you would not catch Ryan in a them environment there none at all Ryan is a little bit smarter than the average criminal element to be caught flat-footed in Rockford like that now yesterday that is Tuesday June 11 sometime around 2 p.m. This criminal element here presently on your screen identified as Dangles. But his birth name, Kemar Williams. He's of a Carves Avenue address in Backbush. His life was taken in a hail of bullets by a criminal elements aligned to Rockford along Windy Way, vicinity the Sherwin Williams paint store in Rockford. No information reaching on the spot news media is that Dangles was in the process of reversing his grey colour Benz motor vehicle along the windy way stretch there so. It is said that whilst doing so, he was pounced upon by two men who came off a motorcycle. They were both armed with handguns. They both opened gunfire in the car hitting him all over the upper body and head. It is said that the grey bends that Dangles was in continued to reverse and crashed. The two criminal elements them were gunned him down, jumped back upon the motorcycle and rode off from the scene. Now a whole heap of things make Dangles end up lose theme tree pines and adjust the fuck say is a friend knackis and clappis. But also is a brother where love style the other man them in the community because him and the tap dan very close. Now who remember the vehicle where him thief from Fabi? Yeah man, Fabi from Rona Backbush, same way. Well I know say more than likely that just put the ice in and the cake the cake did already bake you know yeah man and ready for the eating but when him thief the vehicle from fabi that just put the icing on the cake that just literally make the cup run over yeah man so that are one of the reason why dangles get turn over now the same place where the man them go touch dangles and slap him with. The same place the man them go back go touch the man where dangles go buy the hat grabber from. Now the man them probably a priest say I miss a hat grabber help set up dangles for end up lose theme three pints. Now the brother we end up get can up is known as Jason. And him get can up basically the same place where Dangles lose theme three pints. Now information received that Jason was at his place of business when a lone criminal element well mass up and arms up with a firearm entered and can him up twice in the abdomen. It is said that he was rushed to the Kingston Public Hospital by citizens where he has been admitted in serious condition. Now everything points to the fact that him get can up as a reprisal for the knockings and clappings of Kemar Williams aka Dangles. Yeah man. So no no say holy more knockings and clappings I go come after this one. 
So brace yourself, people living in and around these communities affected by this new wave of violence in the Kingston Eastern Police Division. Yeah, man. Now over there in the St. Catherine North Police Division, a 60-year-old man has become the latest victim of gun violence in the war-torn, crime-prone, Fraser's Canton community in St. Catherine. Now the 60-year-old man has since been identified as Michael Steadman, unemployed of Fraser's Boulevard in Spanish Town, St. Catherine. Now according to reports reaching on the spot news media is that sometime around 6 p.m. on Monday, explosions were heard in the community and residents summoned the police. Upon the arrival of the police, the 60-year-old man, Steadman, was observed on the side of the road with what appears to be some whole heap of can up wounds to the head. He was assisted to the Spanish Town Hospital where he succumbed to injuries. Now, uh, Steadman's loss of life followed that of Sheldon Reed, who was taken out in a hail of bullets in the said community on Sunday. The Spanish Town Criminal Investigation Branch is presently probing those two fatal knockings and clappings. Poor me, I tell him, my peeps. The thing rough. Now we have two wanted criminal elements listed by the police. Now on your screen is Andrew Powell, but more popularly known in the criminal underworld as Bounty. Now Bounty is wanted by the St. Andrew South Police Division for the offence of a knockings and clappings resulting in the loss of life of a man. Now the second man has since been identified as Javon Ford, but more popularly known in the criminal underworld as Jevy. He too is wanted by the St. Andrew South Police Division for the offence of knockings and clappings resulting in the loss of life of some people so anyone knowing the whereabouts of these two criminal elements please alert the nearest police station and give them that particular information yeah man now the last thing that we are gonna talk about my peeps is that the police them said that them a try to clamp down upon this loader man thing where a mask as loader man but in essence of it are extortionists so 10 people, including a woman, is presently in the custody of the police following a police operation along Chancery Street in St. Andrew over the weekend. Now we're going to hear from Assistant Commissioner of Police, Gary McKenzie, who is the head of the Public Safety and Traffic Enforcement Branch. He stated that the operation targeted extortionists and persons who pose as loader men who have been harassing taxi and bus operators. So now we are going to hear from the Assistant Commissioner as he weighed in on this latest operation by his policing team under his immediate command. Listen. On June the 8th, 2024, the police from the Public Safety and Traffic Enforcement Branch conducted yet another operation targeting extortionists and those persons who pose as loader men who have been harassing taxi operators and some bus operators and are collecting money by using threatening words. In some instances, they hinder and obstruct persons who are trying to get onto taxis and motor buses. The police, as per our responsibility, have been trying to rid the transportation areas of this practice. On Saturday, we went into the half a tree to Red Hills Road, Chancery Street area, where some 10 persons were arrested, and that included one woman. These persons were observed harassing, hindering, obstructing, and collecting monies. At times, they appear to be very threatening and they have been continuously attempting to drive fear into motor vehicle operators. 
This is something that we have been working assiduously to get rid of. It is a problem which is very challenging because we are not getting the full cooperation of some persons who might have been affected. Notwithstanding that, the police continue to do their best and we will not stop at ensuring that the persons who are working so hard to operate their public passenger vehicles are able to do so without being hindered and harassed. We are very much aware that this situation is not one which we can easily stop. Notwithstanding that, we will continue to ensure that we carry out frequent operations and we arrest these persons and put them before the various courts. We are appealing to all persons who may see or may have first-hand evidence or information to notify the police. We will not be tired or we will not be daunted to carry out our responsibilities to respond and to make the arrests and prosecutions where necessary. Well, I for one support this move 100% by the police to get rid of these criminal elements parading as loader men, but they are indeed extortionists working on behalf of the criminal dons in their areas because these proceedings don't stay in their pockets but goes to the dons in the various communities which will enable them to continue to buy more firepower which will enable them to continue their reign of terror in the lives of the regular members of Chan Public. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.